Okay, folks, if you got a Steam Deck, one of the first things you're going to want to do is connect it to an external monitor and get a USB, Bluetooth, um, keyboard, and mouse. So here's the reason why. So if you're like me, one of the main things you're doing is using this to get retro games. Uh, you can't get those directly off the store, so you have to use desktop mode. Which So to get there, you're going to click Steam button, and you're going to go down to Power, and then you're going to select that switch to desktop. When you're in desktop mode, you're in an OS where you can, you know, go on the internet, use a browser, and you can get all you need to use and, and do for uh, retro gaming. Okay, so here I am in desktop mode. I've just switched over. Now, how you use this is it has a little trackpad, and you can see that's the mouse, and I can go and open up Firefox, um, and then I can do a virtual keyboard by hitting the X button once I'm in there. And I can use that uh, to go to websites, download ROMs, and all, all the things I need for you know retro gaming. But it's not easy to use. It's very small. It's very difficult to type and use that mouse and pointer in this mode. So what you need to do is get something to convert and uh, a Bluetooth wireless mouse and keyboard and connect it to your Steam Deck. So what you need is something like this. Uh, that's a USB-C connector, converter to HDMI and regular USB. So the idea here is I can connect directly to an external monitor, so it's bigger. I can see it with it via HDMI. This is the connection in. So right there at the top is my USB-C connection. And then the outputs there goes to HDMI, which goes to the monitor. And then I have a regular uh, normal kind of USB connection, and that's where I'm going to plug in to my... Um, wireless Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. Okay, so you can see I've connected to the top. Now I'm gonna collect my HDMI directly to my monitor. And really what it's gonna do is just gonna expand my screen. And you're gonna see, you're gonna see uh, on on the screen there, my, my desktop mode. Okay, so now here I have a USB wireless keyboard and mouse. I'm gonna take that little USB piece I'm going to put it on the USB connection. I'm going to plug back in my HDMI cable. So now I can see everything on the big screen. And by the way, I can control the mouse. Instead of that little pointer, I have a regular uh, external mouse and keyboard. Now, one of the first things you'll notice when you do this, it's kind of just ex expanded the screen. So I'm gonna kind of go through on a few more things on how to make that a little bit easier. You can see if I, I can drag a window across screens, that's kind of cool, but I don't really need that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch it so that I can just see everything on the big screen on my external monitor. So down here, I'm gonna go into settings, system settings, and then at the bottom is display and monitor. So I can go here, and now I can display how do I want to use this external monitor. Um, I have a Dell monitor and then my internal monitor here. You can see which one has priority. I can separate them, and that's the case. The bigger one, this in this case, that means everything is on the external monitor and not on my Steam Deck, or you could have it span both left or right and drag over. So I'm just going to apply that. And now, once I say keep, I only see everything on the external monitor. So it's much easier to navigate and use in this uh, mode. Okay, now I can switch back and you can see it's partial here. So I have part of my screen is on the external monitor, part is on the Steam Deck, and I can actually drop windows across from the left to the right. And you can switch that in the settings too if you wanted to place your Steam Deck on the other side in which direction you're able to drag and drop or drag across the two screens. I don't find a real lot of use there, but is it interesting? Uh, the last thing here is really once you've set up this, um, if you've got whatever you want, if you want to go back to desktop mode, there is an icon, return to gaming mode. You just kind of double click on that. And in this case, uh, it's kind of kind of restart. I've left everything connected, so we see everything on the external monitor and not on the Steam Deck. And I can use that keyboard and mouse just like I did before. I can go switch back to desktop mode I want, or I could. Um, Utilize the Steam Deck that way. Hope this helps and definitely a must for retro gaming. Good luck.